We already talked about finding the concentration of the resulting mixture. We already talked about the looking for the concentration of what you mix together. This time, we're going to talk about the quantity. Mixture problems, part three. That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching from a channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my new uploads, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon. Now, like I said in the intro, Kanina, this is part three of our series on mixture problems. If you haven't seen parts one and two yet, you can click right here to catch up on the i button sa taas if you're watching this on YouTube. Kasi mas maganda ko na intindihan nyo na yung mga basics bago tayo pupunta dito. Ngayon kasi iba na yung pinag-uusapan, yung dami naman ang nawawala at yun na pag-uusapan natin ngayon. Now, before we do that, just a quick little plug. If you want to help support this channel and our cause to democratize education here in the Philippines, you can do that by helping us through our merch shop, so shop.teamlaika.com. That's where you can get yung mga shirts, hoodies, caps, and all the things I designed for this team. Sa mga nagsusuot at gumagamit at nag-order na ng kanilang mga merch, maraming salamat sa inyo. Sa mga bibili pa lang, maraming din po salamat. Kasi you're helping me help more people through all of these ano, free content that I put up on YouTube. TikTok, and other social media platforms. Marami po salamat sa inyo. Okay? And now that we have that out of the way, I'm going to switch over to my PC. I'll see you in a bit. Okay? So, ito na yung part 3 ng discussion natin on mixture problems. This time, hahanapin natin yung nawawalang amount ng uh, isang solution na hinalo para lumabas yung re results, no? Yung part 1, pinag-usapan natin yung pinaka-basic na problem, yung nawawala yung percentage ng results. Tapos, yung pangalawa naman, yung uh, concentration ng pinaghalo. Ito yung uh, mas complicated uh, na topic kasi uh, nagkakaroon na siya ng mga additional na mga variables. And I'll explain kung ano yung formula later. Okay? Now, ang sample problem natin would be something like this. So, shout out muna kay Jokris. So, Jokris mixed 15 ml of a 22% saline solution with a 52% saline solution to make a 40% saline solution. How much of the second solution was used? Okay? So, um, if you want me pala to include your name sa susunod na mga videos, write it sa comments para maipila natin. I keep using yung mga names ng mga subscribers sya kayong mga nanonood din sa mga problems para uh, a bit of a shoutout na rin sa inyo, no? So, eto. Solve natin ito. Now, if you notice, ang nawawala yung how much of the second solution was used. So, nawawala kung ano yung dami niya. Okay? Now, anong gagawin natin dito? Like yung mga naunang parts ng series, hahanapin lang natin yung mga buckets na pinag-uusapan. Okay? Yung unang bucket would be, sabi niya, 15 ml daw na 22% saline solution. So, that would be here. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, kung lalagyan natin yung percentage of this will be 22%, ang dami niya ay 15 ml. Balikan natin yung terms. ba we call this the tapang and ito yung kanyang dami. Ito yung Concentration, ito yung amount. Okay? Now, doon sa bucket number 2, we have something which is 52%. Pero hindi sinabi kung gano'n siya karami. So, ibig sabihin sa bucket number 2, meron ka dito, 52%. Pero hindi natin alam kung ilan ml siya or gano'n siya karami na hinalo. Okay? So, dito, pwede na siyang maging X, siya yung nawawala. Yun yung second bucket natin. Yung third bucket natin yung resulta. Okay? Ano yon? Sabi, meron ka daw 40% saline solution. So, sabihin ito ay 40%. Now, if you notice, hindi natin alam kung gano'ng siya kadami. Pero, alam natin, di ba, na ang ginagawa natin sa part 1 pa lang is that yung mga dami, i-add lang natin. We have 15 ml plus x ml equals something. So, this will be 15 plus x. Okay? Yan yung sinasabi ko na medyo mas complicated na siya kasi dalawa na yung terms na nasa loob ng parentheses. So, kung i-solve ko ito, ang mangyayari dyan would be, this will be 22 times 15, tapos meron akong 52 times x, lalabas yung 40% times the quantity 15 plus x. Now, again, I prefer not using decimals. Binubuong number ko lang sila. Okay? Para lang less na bagay sa isip ko. 
uh, dahil pare-pareho naman silang percent, parang in the same way na pag ano nag-move tayo ng decimal place since lahat naman sila pantay-pantay lang din naman yun. Mas gusto ko lang siya kasi kung titingnan mo mas mahirap i-deal with kung 0.22 times 15 yung nakalagay. Kasi it adds another layer of difficulty dun sa problem. Okay? So now we have 22 times 15. Uh, that would be 22 times 10, 100, uh, 220 plus 110. So that will be 330. Okay? So again, you're, you can multiply it the traditional way. But either way, you'll get 330 plus 52x equals 40 times 15 naman. So 400 plus 200, that would be 600 plus 40 x. Now, bakit 40x? Kasi kailangan mo siya i-distribute doon. Okay? Medyo nadaanan natin ito, kaya binalikan din natin yun before I started the mixture series, no? Uh, yung, yung properties ng additional multiplication. Yung distributive property, kapag meron kang i-multiply, i-distribute mo siya sa kanilang dalawa. Okay? If you haven't seen that video yet, ililink ko na lang din dito sa taas. Very important yun. Okay? So, now we have this. Isosolve na natin ngayon. Na lagi natin try gawin is manatiling positive yung x. So, ang gagawin ko would be itong 40, ito ang ililipat ko doon kasi mas malaki itong 52x. Tapos yung 30 siya yung ililipat ko naman doon para nandun lahat ng digits sa kabilang side. So, ang mangyari dito magiging 52x minus 40x is equal to 600 minus 330. Okay, bakit ganun? Kasi positive to dito, pag nilipat ko sa kabilang side magiging negative siya. So, this right here would be 12x is equal to 600 minus 330. That would give us 270. So, di-divide natin both sides by 12 para makancel itong side na ito. Maiwan yung x lang. So, x is equal to 270 divided by 12. Okay? That would give us 22.5. Okay? So, 22.5 ml yung dami nung 52%. Okay? Yan na yung magiging sagot natin. So, again, ano yung mga fundamental skills natin? Buckets. 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 Gaya ng ginawa natin dati. Tapos, yung, ano lang, equalities lang. How to solve equalities. Don't forget na mag-transpose ng, ma ng maayos. Kasi yung iba, pag nilipat, nakakalimutan palitan yung sign. And, of course, yung basics natin ng operations and division, tsaka uh, subtraction, addition. Okay? Now, I hope na gets nyo yan. Doon na tayo tatalon sa ating quick quiz. Okay? So, I have two questions lang for you. I know kasi medyo mas challenging ito than the others. Uh, I'll give you time. Tapos, after that, isasolve natin ng sama-sama. Okay? Yung isa sa kanila, yung pangalang question is a little bit trickier. Pero I know, I know naman na you can figure it out. Okay? And if you're ready with your pen and paper, your timer starts now.
All right, let's see how you did. All right, so let's start with the first first question. No? Sabi dito, Lizel mixed 15 ml of a 70% saline solution with a 16% saline solution to make a 46% saline solution. How much of the second solution was used? So again, a shout out kay Lizel. And if you want me to give you a shout out, write your name in the comment section din sa baba. Okay? Ngayon, dito na tayo sa ating problem. Hanapin natin yung first na hinalo. Siya ay 15 ml na 70%. So, magiging 15 ml, ang percentage niya ay 70%. Yung first bucket natin. Second bucket natin ay 16% saline solution. Hindi natin alam kung ilan. Yun yung tinatanong. Nakagito, how much of the second solution? So, ibig sabihin dito, ilalagay natin yung 16%. Ito yung magiging X natin. Ang kinalabasan daw ay 46% saline solution. So, ito ay magiging 46%. At ang kanya namang dami will be 15 plus x. Okay? So, isusulat na natin siya. We now have 70 times 15, tapos, plus yung 16% or 16 na lang, times x. Ang kalalabasan niya dapat would be 46 times 15 plus x. Okay? So, isusolve lang natin yan. So, 70 plus uh, 70 times 15, that will be 700 uh, plus 350. So, that will be 1050 or 1050. Tapos yung 16 times x, magiging 16x lang siya. Equal daw sa 46 times 15. So, that would be 460 plus 230. 690. Plus, and don't forget this, ah, distribute natin siya. Kung i-multiply ko siya sa 15, mo-multiply ko rin siya sa x. So, lalabas would be 46x. Okay? Tapos, i-solve lang natin down para mahanap natin yung, yung ibig sabihin ng x. Again, dahil dito naman sa side na ito yung mas malaking x, ito ang lilipat natin doon. Ito naman ang ililipat natin doon sa kabila. So, mangyayari, 1050 or 1050 minus 690 is equal to 46x minus 16x. So, ang 1050 minus 690 will give us 360 equal siya sa 46x minus 16x which will give us 30x. So, 360 na lang divided by 30, that would give us 12 Okay, now, bakit ganun? Kasi, again, ikakancel natin yung 30. 30, may iwan yung x. So, x is equal to 12. At dahil 12 ml ang pinag-uusapan, ang sagot natin would be 12 ml. Now, quick note, mag-ingat kasi sa units ng measure. Kasi minsan, sa options, lalo na sa upcut, ganyan kung mga klaseng exam, or kahit sa civil service, biglang iba yung unit doon sa mga options. So, you have to know then kung paano mag-convert ng units para sigurado kayong tama yung sagot ninyo. Okay? Pero in this case, dahil pare-pareho naman silang ML, dito na tayo. ML na yan. Alright, dito na tayo sa pangalawa. Sabi, Raul melted a 26 uh, gram ring that was 48% gold and combined it with a 78% gold piece to make a 58.5% gold ring. How much of the other piece was used to form the new ring? So again, same naman yung situation, iba lang yung mga figures. Ang dapat nating hanapin kung ano yung mga buckets. Okay? So yung una, 26 grams siya, tapos 48% gold. So yung una would be 48% sa loob, and ang dami niya ay 26 grams. Yung pangalawa, nag, nahinalo, 78% gold siya. So this will be 78%. Hindi natin alam kung ilan siya ang hinahanap, no? how much. Tapos yung naging resulta ay 58.5%. So, lalagay natin dito yung 58.5%. At ang kanyang dami naman ay 26 plus X. Okay? So, i-multiply na natin. This will be 48 times 26 plus 78 times X is equal to 58.5 times 26 plus X. Okay, so medyo mas complicated na kasi may mga decimals na tayo involved. Pero okay lang yan. It's going to give you uh, a bit of a thrill lang din while you're solving. 
Pero kayang-kaya niya yan. So, 40, 48 muna times 26. That is going to give us 1,248. Plus 78 x is equal to. Tapos ito na tayo. 58.5 times 26 is going to give us 1,521. Plus, and okay lang yan. Kasi again, i-distribute natin yan. Dapat kumultiply ko siya dyan. Multiply ko rin siya doon. Magiging. 58.5 x okay we're go just going to solve it like we did dun sa kanina yung ito mas mababa to kaysa sa 78 so siya ang ililipat natin doon ito naman ang ililipat natin sa kabila okay so here magiging 78 minus uh, 78 x minus 58.5 x is equal to 1521 minus 1248 or 1248 so, in 78 minus 58.5 is going to give us 19.5x equal to 1,521 minus 1,248 which is going to give us 273. So, you divide natin both sides by 19.5. 19.5. Maka-cancel natin ito. May iwan yung x sa kabilang side. Equal siya sa... 14. Okay? So, anong ginawa lang natin dyan? I-divide mo lang siya. Um, here's the trick. If you don't want to deal with decimals, uh, one thing that you could think about would be, ang dalawang 19.5 is going to give us uh, 39. Okay? So, divide mo na lang sa 39, tapos i-multiply mo siya sa 2. Okay? If, if you... But if you feel that it's too complicated to do it that way, again, you can always go back to the traditional way. So, 273 divided by 19.5. Okay? So, long division lang tayo dyan. So, the answer is 14 grams. Alright? So, yan yung ating sagot. Now, again, ingat kay sa units. Um, kapag biglang naging kilograms yung isa, kailangan mo pa siya i-convert. Kung milligrams siya, i-convert mo pa siya. Kung uh, anong klaseng unit yan, dapat pareho sila. Uh, before you even start solving everything. Alright? And I hope you got both both of these samples uh, correctly. If you didn't, that's okay. I'll be posting more questions naman on my Instagram accounts. If you don't follow me yet, you can follow me at Team Laika and at Laika Maravilla on Instagram. We post the questions dun sa uh, story, sa Instagram story, so you can participate by selecting kung ano yung tama sagot. And hopefully tama yung mga maging sagot nyo. Instant feedback naman yun so malalaman nyo agad kung tama o mali. And if you're on TikTok, I'm on TikTok then at Team Laika for the math and English lessons. Tapos, uh, at Laika Marivella naman for the motivational videos, advice videos, and more personal stuff. Okay? See you guys online. Alright, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends. Sana mag exam din sila. Dato nga sarami tayong matutulungan. At kung hindi ka pa na subscribe, subscribe na and hit that bell icon para hindi nyo mong miss yung mga papating pala mo, ng mga videos. Uh, we're officially on the road to 1 million subscribers at the time that I'm filming this. And I'm really grateful sa, sa inyong lahat na nagsishare ng content at sa lahat ng mga mommies out there who are using my videos to tutor their kids then. Lalo na dito sa onset ng online learning for everyone. So, marami pong salamat sa inyo at sa inyong support. Ha. If you want to reach out to me directly, get the viewers that may join the online or live review events, you can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlike for more information. And, ang um, lagi po natin sinasabi sa channel na to, never stop learning. Adja, adja, kain yan. I'll see you in my next video and bye for now.